my son's chair broke the other day so I'm going to make a new one uh, it's gonna be a rolling chair I saved the old casters from his previous chair and I will reuse them I've got the rough dimensions what I want and I'm just gonna make a start I never really built a chair before so it's gonna be an experiment we we'll see how it goes let's <laughs>
all right guys i might have made a mistake in terms of designing my chair the base of my chair uh, that little bit on the small side i'm not sure if it's gonna be stable enough but we'll see i'm going to build it anyway and uh, if it was a fail you will see it now i'm going to carry on with uh, making the seat and the back of the chair so I've got more rust on timber to put through the thicknesser and uh, I'll, I'll show you the progress as I go along. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the back of the seat I'm working on. Uh, here is it. As you can see, it's shaping a curve. Uh, each joint, I've got three joints there, has a five degree angle uh, cut. While the glue is setting on those parts, I'll carry on uh, shaping the base of the chair. Uh, I've got a lot to crack on with. I've got the base of my chair assembled now, as you can see. That's a bit robust, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna work on the seat now. That's my next step.
see it is attached to uh, the uh, base now. Last thing left is the back of the chair. I've got my chair ready. Uh, I've got tons of finishing to do, sanding and staining. I'm not gonna show you all that. I'm just gonna come back to you when it's all done. I've got the chair completed now. Feeds, but it seems to be working quite well. It's on the chunky side, it does the job. 